Hello everyone, Young Jacob here coming to you live from Kailua Beach, one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Now, you might wonder, how much does it really cost to live in this paradise, especially after the retirement? Well, recently our family moved from San Francisco Bay Area to Hawaii. Did you know, amongst the top five most expensive states, California is number two states, and Hawaii the first. So our family, in a sense, very brave, moving from the second most expensive states to the most expensive states. For the context, we have five family members. My husband, myself, and my daughter and two dogs. Well, my husband recently retired and my daughter is a college student and as you know, I am a real estate agent. So, shameless plug here, when you're buying and selling or investing, give me a call, let's talk. So during the pandemic, my husband declared that he wants to join FIRE community. As you know, FIRE is F financial, I independence, R retire, E early. It's just a little bit surprising to us because we live our life as YOLO. As you know, YOLO is you live only once. So YOLO and fire doesn't mesh together. It's like oil and water. Regardless, we decide to support his dream. And why did we choose to, Hawaii, to move to Hawaii is a separate topic for different time. Now, without further ado, let's talk about our monthly expenses. Rent. We pay $3,900 a month plus $10 renter's insurance. Our original thought was to rent around $3,000 a month until we buy a place. But even for rentals, there is such a low inventory. Plus, uh, we have two dogs. And not many places would accept dogs. So we keep upping our prices and we ended up here. In fact, the first place we applied that we got turned away um, because we were actually looking and applying from uh, California. So they feel more secure with somebody who was actually in the town. But I actually love this uh, place because at night, I mean, there's high school right there. And uh, every night they were practicing football games and um, they play music you know the bands bands will school bands will play music and it's really really cheerful so i sit out at my patio and enjoy my happy hour health insurance we paying two thousand nine hundred fifty dollars a month for kaiser hmo plan for the families family of three this is truly Achilles heel for our family finances. My daughter and my husband, they have very, very severe eczema and allergies. And we are using very expensive uh, immune regulator uh, for their skin trouble. And also for Medicare, we have to wait till um, 65. We are still in the 50s. So I don't know what to do, but um, we are seriously considering lowering our premium uh, for the next year, but we'll see. Utilities. For electricity, we pay $235 a month on the average. We don't even have air conditioner, but I think it's mainly because the lights are not LED and um, systems are pretty old. Um, so during the Christmas, we were paying um, over $300 a month because of all the Christmas lights. Um, for water bills, uh, we pay uh, anywhere from $135 to $180 a month. My family like to, you know, wash uh, clothes every day 
and also we have pretty good sized yard so the watering the lawn and uh, doing the laundry every day they kind of raise our water bills also um, another thing I was really surprised about Hawaii was that tap water didn't taste that good I, I would assume that the water would taste really delicious here so we are having water delivery um, every week um, so that's about fifty dollars a month transportations we own two cars outright one used by me and my husband and the other by my daughter so we don't have a payment on my um, cars but recently I've been driving a lot uh, for previewing and showing that kind of stuff so for the gas we pay anywhere from 150 to 200 one thing that you'll be surprised to hear is the gas price as high as it is for Hawaii we are cheaper than California for registration and smoke test I, I just Put it as about a hundred dollars a month and um, uh, insurance for the car is 50 for my car and 50 for my daughter so in in total we paying about hundred dollars a month for insurance food and the groceries there is a reason why Hawaii is the most expensive states in the United States that's because of this food cost. I think everything is imported. So gallon of milk, cotton of eggs. Um, recently everything has gone up. So did the price in Hawaii. Um, we are paying about $1,000 a month, including eating out. Um, I found new hobby, baking and cooking at home. So we don't eat out as much as we did in California, but still it cost us about thousand dollars a month. Health and beauty. For gym membership, we pay about hundred dollars a month. Um, this gym is owned by BJ Penn, uh, one of the greatest fighters in UFC. We love watching UFC fights, uh, me and my husband. And if you were to uh, buy the fights, um, stream the fights, we have to pay about $70 but this gym um, stream it um, whenever they have uh, fights so in a sense we are not paying anything for gym membership so I don't really consider this as an expense I see it as an investment because every time they have fight we just get on the treadmill and watch the game and that's really fun for us I also pay $100 a month on Chinese speaking app. Um, this app allows me to pick and choose the topic that I want to speak uh, based on my level and also Chinese speaking tutor who I want to speak with. During the pandemic, um, mainly because of boredom, out of boredom, I um, decided to learn Chinese. And also, I don't know you read a book uh, by St Scott Adams called How to Fail at Almost Everything but Still Win Big. In that book, he talks about, although it's a small, each talent stack, um, you have talent stack, if you put it together, that produces huge result. And so I thought, you know, putting the Chinese speaking talent stack to my um, talent, I don't think that was a bad idea. So I started to learn Chinese about a one year and a half ago, and this has continued to be one of my favorite hobbies. I spend on the average about $300 a month for going to a hair salon and buying a beauty products, that kind of stuff. Um, during the pandemic, I was doing it um, myself, but uh, because I'm a real estate agent, I think it's super important to look good and feel good and give everything you got to serve others. 
So it takes about $300 to look this good. <laughs> Donations. This is my favorite category. In fact, I don't uh, even see it as an expense. I see it as a debt repayment program. You might say it's too much or too little, but it feels right to me. I spend about $300 a month um, for donations plus 10% of my income. My belief is that um, when I was dependent on my parents, they took care of me. Now that they are dependent on me, I should take care of them with love, appreciation, and money. In terms of spirituality, I've been going on and off to church all my life, but recently I found Jesus, and I am super grateful for the air I breathe, the life I have, and I just, uh, I'm just beyond grateful. So I um, started to give 10% of my income. All right, so based on what you see, we spend over $10,000 a month, and that's more than what my husband take in from his pension. We're gonna need to make some adjustment, and I also need to go out and talk to more people to increase my uh, activities so I can help more people. But at this time, we're negative about $1,600 to $2,000 a month on the average um, but still I'm still young and um, we can make adjustment and it's a manageable when you when you really see where your money is going so anyway that was an eye-opening for me to go over every month expenses and I'm glad I was um, you know be able to share with you Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk oh, yeah, to you yeah, soon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>